I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lencioni, and here's your three-minute reset. I want to talk today about how to broadcast your weakness in a way that's healthy. Uh, we've talked many times in the reset about the importance of letting people know your humanity, especially if you're in leadership. One perfect example of this is St. Paul. You know, he shared all the internal struggles he had. He shared his frustrations with the church. He didn't just share his his intellectual, heady, academic level leadership. He shared that it was ripping his heart in two sometimes, the way he had to lead the church. He shared his struggles with, with the Lord and how he, he said he received a thorn in the flesh, a suffering, a trial. And he said, I begged God to remove it three times. But God said, my grace is sufficient for you. In 2 Corinthians 11, he talked about how he was he was uh, received lashes. He was pelted with stones. How he was shipwrecked. He let all this stuff out there. In a way, that was almost like blah, right? Everybody see. He didn't think that perfection in himself was, was his big feature. Actually, his big feature. He said, I boast in my weakness. He boasted in it because then the power of Jesus shines through. But there's a way to do that that's healthy and a way to do that that's kind of toxic. Pat, help us to distinguish those two ways. Well, and it's it's hard. Without purifying your intentions and praying about it, it's really hard to know. But one of the things we have to remember is he did that in his writings to his to, to his fellow Christians. And mm-hmm. I don't think while he was making tents, somebody came and said, hey, I need a tent. He said, oh, let me tell you how hard my life is. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's a context for that. Yeah. Right. And, and so we, 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 we need to remember that it, it's not just walking around as an open wound, but knowing that there are moments when sharing that wound with others is a gift mm-hmm. and it's not using it as an excuse. Hey, you don't understand how wounded I am. That's therefore, but it's saying, Hey, maybe this helps you understand where I'm coming from, but I'm really sorry that I did something and, and, and coming to somebody with a genuine, vulnerable sense of apology. You know, God says, bring me a, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. That's what he wants. Mm. And, and so it's about purifying our intentions. And this is true whether we've insulted an employee at work or whether we've failed to do something well. We can come to them fully and say, I'm so sorry. Let me, under, let me help you understand where I'm coming from and where this is. But I take responsibility for that and I, I ask for your forgiveness. So it's a, it's a fine line but it's a really, really important one. And if we pray for clarity and for pure intentions, we can pull that off. Mm, yeah, it's, it's to reveal your humanity without making excuses for or without lowering the bar, right? Like I have these flaws, but yeah, I am actually working on them, but I have these flaws, but yeah, I really want to be a saint, right? It's revealing your humanity without using it to manipulate or, or tell people, hey, let me act in a certain way that's not right because of X. So it's a certain type of realness and the Lord helps us to thread that needle, doesn't he? Yeah. And let's ask him to help us. Lord, help us to know how to do this well, how to purify our intentions and be truly vulnerable in our apologies and in our sharing of our weaknesses and never to manipulate and never to excuse ourselves. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.